Yeah. Alrighty, so this is my 1995 home-built computer. Actually, uh, my parents built this tower in 1995 or 6. They used it for a good few years until about 2000. And then they put it in their... Or no, I'm sorry, 2002 or 3. One of those. Um, and then they put it into their attic for 17 years. And then all of a sudden, hey, look, what is this beige box? And it turned out to be a computer. So, yeah, that's how I got a hold of this thing. And that mouse and not the modern keyboard, I bought those separately. But, hey, you know what? Still great. So, a little bit of background. This beast is running Windows 95. Um, has a whole something of RAM and a relatively decent hard drive. I don't think it's gigabytes, but who knows? It's the 90s. But as far as I know, everything works on this thing, except for the keyboard sometimes. Um, let's go ahead and turn it on. <laughs> uh, hold on. Yeah? Yeah? Ah, okay. Well, that was... Here we go. All right, you can see all the specs. Uh, I guess this computer was built in 97. S. Never heard of that one. Uh, so it has a Pentium S CPU. That's relatively nice. 150 megahertz. I guess that's okay. Uh, 16 or 163 megabytes, maybe? Uh, maybe a gigabyte and a half. Uh, no keyboard present. That means... Alright, and no keyboard present means... It works. Because that makes sense. I... I don't know, but hey, look, Windows 95 and an awful refresh rate. Oh, there. Okay, so this computer, I believe it's actually running that right now, because I don't think it's capable of running that right now. Um, ooh, that made it even worse. Okay, let's go to here. How about it? Yeah, that makes better. Makes better, because I know how to talk, yeah. <laughs> um, nope, that just... Nope, okay. Me only reduction, yes. I know what that is. Ha ha ha. Okay, boom meter. Alright, see, so yeah, it is running at 70 hertz. A little fast, but that's okay. Because that is not adjustable. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, personal. Alrighty, now it's actually starting to look relatively decent. I guess my phone has finally decided hey, look, I can do this. Um, all right, so the sad thing is, in order to connect to the internet, I'm going to have to disconnect this because, well, it's connected via serial, and so is the modem, so I'm not going to have access to this, but it's okay, Windows thought of that because I, I, I don't need a mouse, it's just there to be nice, and yeah, that hard drive is working very hard it's pretty good for over 20 years old all right so wait for everything to finish loading and we'll know when it's finished because it'll do that okay sick um so as you can see on here i do not have juno because that didn't want to work actually but i guess it's because this is too old or something but i do have aol internet aol and internet free trial nice so um, I'm going to connect everything up and get all that to work. Alrighty, so I have everything hooked up except for the modem because I do want to use my mouse for a second. So let's just switch on the modem. Wait for it to start up. Give her a second. Okay. Actually, I think it is hooked up. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to here. Let's 
You can hear that computer working hard. Alrighty, now it's time to disconnect my uh, mouse and uh, hook up the modem. Alrighty, everything should be good. Everything should be good. Try to sign on. Maybe. Okay. Let's just kind of plug this back in for a second. And yeah, it's an adapter. Okay, so, uh, there's a chance my computer's locked up. Let's turn off turbo. Mm-hmm. Aha, everything's not going to work. Okay, so a little bit of a fun fact about that turbo button. It is actually supposed to slow the computer down from 150 megahertz to just 75 for older programs. Most computers had this in up until the early 2000s, which, I mean, hey, older programs are useful, I guess. Alrighty, and after a good bit of finagling and a bad refresh rate thing again, alright. I uh, finally got it to work, so let's, uh, let's sign on. Uh, yeah, that's fine. There. Uh huh. Alright. Using the US Robotics as well. Oh, well, that was easy. You know, coming to think of it, I don't actually think I set up this modem to be on this, uh, computer. Also, apologies for the refresh rate. I really don't know how to fix that. Um, let's focus there, maybe. Yeah, let's try that. Maybe if I just go in closer, then. I mean, if I go in closer, then you can see it easier, but I don't know. It's still connecting. Okay, so it is about, oh, I don't know, about a week, two weeks later. Um, my phone storage ended up being full and I have no idea how to take it off so uh, this is kind of what you're gonna get so what ended up happening is it didn't connect it apparently the software that I'm using is probably about five years out of date let's see here that's 2000 or 99 the newest version that's going to work is from 04 or 05 or 04 through 06 so Will it work on this computer? No, it will not work on this computer, but I think there is a chance that I'm going to be able to use it on one of the newer machines. So I'm going to I'm going to bring back the Dell Dimension and hopefully that's gonna get it to work. Yeah, there was also a possibility that it's a paid service and not free. Um, I hope that it is not a paid service because I do want to check my email. That would be sick. But, um, yeah, I, for now, that's pretty much going to be it. I do have some more things I'm going to do with this computer, though. I did find some things in some system files that I will show probably uh, in the next video, unless the next video is me bringing back the dimension and showing you that, uh, you know, it is still possible because, I have, like I said, I have done it before. Or maybe I even, maybe I'll even uh, 
throw in one of my old laptops too, my old XP laptops. That reminds me, I need to get a sound card for that one. But anyways, for now, that's going to be it. Sorry for the long wait on this video. This thing is a lunk. I mean, this thing is heavy as I'll get out, especially the screen. Actually, that screen is heavier than the computer and bigger. Yeah, so stay tuned. I will, uh, I'm going to upload another video at some point. Again, it takes a while for these. But until then, take care.